What's up guys, I'm Nathan and in this video I will be showing you guys the ultimate tier list for story mode on Roblox All Star Tower Defense including all of the new units. So if you have any difference in opinion let me know in the comments so that I will be able to make changes if necessary. S tier is going to be meta units, A tier will be really solid units but are not meta. B tier is going to be uh, pretty much average units but try to replace them as soon as possible. And C tier is basically going to be useless units either because they are too expensive or they are outdated. First up we have Yuno who I'll put probably like at the bottom of A tier just because of the fact that his DPS is pretty nice and he's not that expensive. Same for SSJ Rose Goku, he is uh, going to cost around 6000 which is moderate so probably around A tier. Uh, All Might is going to be maybe actually I'll put him at the bottom of B tier because his range is alright. Uh, and he's pretty cheap. Sanami also bottom of A tier because he would actually uh, be pretty cheap and his uh, damage and range is not too bad guys and his SPA. Frieza probably another bottom of B tier because he's pretty cheap. Margin Buu is B tier not because of him being bad it's just because he would cost 10k to max out which is not it. Same for Whitebeard, you would be able to max him out, but it's just not worth getting. Uh, Natsu, probably bottom of A tier, because he would be cheaper than these guys, but he's still pretty pricey. Light Yagami, C tier, just because he's way too expensive, you cannot even place one of him down. Zetsu, I mean, you could use him if you want, but I would not recommend it. Summoners are outdated at this point. Um, Luffy, probably... A tier because he would cost around 6k and his range is pretty nice. Eren another B tier because like I said summoners are outdated. Tanjiro another B tier because eh, he's alright but he's eh, because he's cheap but still his damage is horrible. Uh, Nagato is actually a really solid A tier probably one of the best in A tier because he would have pretty nice range hybrid and cheap guys. Uh, Jotaro is probably going to be A tier because Dio is better than him for story. Kakashi is going to be C because he's useless guys. Because, come on, <laughs> there's 4 stars better than this guy. Not gonna lie. And he's also not even that cheap. Byakuya, probably another A tier. Uh, he would cost around 6k, but he's okay. Um, Bulma is going to be S tier. Obviously, you need her for story. Uh, Megumin C tier just because she's single target and single target with that kind of cooldown is not it. Um, Aladdin is actually so, uh, decent, he would be like in the middle of A tier because guys, um, <laughs> Aladdin would only cost like 4k to max out. Minato another S tier, you literally need him for the new maps. Kelua probably bottom B tier because eh, he's better than Kakashi, that's all I'm saying. Roy Mustang, definitely S tier, you do need him right now. Whis, honestly guys, like I would put him bottom of B tier. He's not exactly useless because if you're new and if you're fighting against those damaging bosses when and you're at the stage where you would actually resell units like I was at once, Whis would help you like a little bit. <laughs> um, Coyote stock, decent DPS and not that expensive so probably A tier. Mob Psycho, like bottom of A tier as well, because he's not that expensive. Same for Akaza, kind of bottom of A tier, just because his damage is alright, guys. Uh, Do Flamingo is pretty much useless because he's unusable. Uh, Obito, probably another A tier because he's not too expensive and his damage and range is actually, uh, and also his cooldown is not that bad. Um, for Gojo, guys, I would put him in B tier because. He is way too expensive and for a time stopper you would have to resell but I don't have the heart to put him in C tier guys. Uh, but still I would not recommend using him for story mode. Usopp really solid guys because of his huge range as well like it is just going to help you out quite a lot and he's only going to cost around 6k. Uh, same for uh, Fujitora he's also going to cost around 6k but he's getting outdated and might soon move down to B. Ichigo Blood War C tier because he's single target and single target is not it. Also, you cannot even get him anymore. Rukia Bankai is gonna be uh, C tier because you cannot really use her. She's way too expensive. Uh, Vegeta 
probably another B tier because he's not that expensive and his damage is meh. Uh, Sasuke is still gonna be on A tier, maybe middle, because he's really cheap and pretty efficient for that cost. So if you're new, he's still pretty solid. Um, Jinbei, maybe another B tier. He's not as bad as Kakashi, guys. Uh, then Blackbeard is definitely gonna be essential for that slowness effect. Uh, S tier for him. Golden Freezer, definitely a solid unit A tier from me, guys, because he's pretty cheap and he has amazing range. But his DPS is the only thing that would not let him be on S tier. Uh, Darui, probably another like meh character in A tier because he's not that expensive, which is why some of these characters are gonna be in A tier. Dio, if you do not have a black beard, Dio is probably gonna be the best other option because he's cheapest to get time stop. Ace is gonna be A tier because he's really cheap, you guys. Uh, he was only killed by Roy Mustang, so I did not have the heart to move him down so much from S tier. So that's why I'll keep him somewhere in the middle of A tier. Uh, Gogeta is gonna be C tier because he's unusable. Zenitsu. Uh, okay, guys, I'll put him somewhere in the middle of B tier because he has a decent spa but come on why would you even have him ren goku is another a tier he was pretty much an s tier unit until roy mustang came and pretty much killed him <laughs> not gonna lie uh, then we've got a lot more units what the heck hawk single target guys that's why we put him on c tier gone is useless because he's way too expensive Kaido is actually going to be A tier, he's way too hard to get, so you would most likely have meta units by the time you get Kaido. But he's actually good because 65 range, 4 SPA, decent damage, and he's also going to be cheaper than Minato. But still, like if you have him, you would probably have all the metas, but still, why not? Uh, Naruto, uh, Beast Cloak is useless, C tier. Uh, Irwin, S tier easily. Pain, C tier because, come on, his damage is horrible, guys. Mihawk is a C tier because, again, he's gonna be unusable, way too expensive. Uh, Broly is probably gonna be... I would probably put him in A tier just because he's amazing on the Pillarman map. Just because of his amazing range, it just works perfectly on that map. Overhaul, probably gonna be B tier but top because he's actually gonna be a little expensive, guys. Uh, Fugo, another B tier, like he's really good, he's got amazing damage, but the problem is that his range is just so bad, guys. Uh, Yoshikage Kira, probably C tier because, come on, guys, single target units are not it. Drip Goku, I would have trolled and put in S tier, but most of you guys actually did not get that I was just joking. So I'll put him where he actually belongs, which is probably gonna be B tier just because he's free. So he's okay if you're just starting out, guys. Uh, Suzuku, C tier, guys, because come on, <laughs> you cannot even place him down. Uh, Giorno, probably gonna be like middle A tier because he's a little pricey, but his damage is not bad overall. Um, okay, Gilgamesh is gonna be an S tier unit, guys, because he is amazing for killing bosses, even though he would cost a lot, he's still worth placing down just because of his DPS, guys. Uh, you can probably place one of them down after selling your Bulmas. Um, Mas Teacher goes really cheap and gonna have pretty nice DPS. He's probably one of the best 4 stars out there right now. So I'll actually put him somewhere at the bottom of A tier because he's good if you're starting out. Vastalorda Ichigo, oh, that I did not pick up Vastalorda Ichigo. Here he is. He is also gonna be A tier because he's pretty solid but he's a little bit too expensive to make it to S tier. Uh, Deku probably B tier guys because he could manage all the way up till around the bleach map and even the pillowman map but after that he cannot really beat them. Uh, Nami probably gonna be like high B tier because if you're starting out like the full AoE and the fact that she gives money is the only thing that saves her. Warhammer Titan probably gonna be like top of B tier as well and finally um, was it Kirito? I'm pretty sure one of you guys said that it's Kirito. And I'll probably put him at B tier as well because he's really cheap and has a uh, cone AoE. But that's pretty much it for this video. So thank you guys for watching. If you found it helpful, hit the like button and subscribe if you are new to the channel. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. See ya!